Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign properties to structural members in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In this particular video, we're going to show you how to create groups and how to assign member descriptions. Now, this is an optional portion of your workflow, but both of these options can be used to facilitate the selection of members that will have common properties and specification assignments. Let's go ahead and get started by creating some groups within our model. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is in the ribbon toolbar, go ahead and select the catalog tab. Now, as you can see, I've already taken the liberty of creating several groups within this model, but I'm ready to add one more. So I'm going to go ahead and select the add group icon, and then I can name my group anything I want. I'm going to call mine steel column one. Once we're done, let's go ahead and click OK, and we're going to see our new group has appeared. Now, here in the Properties dialog, I can go ahead and see that the group has been created and nothing is currently assigned to that group. Let's go back to our Model tab so we can see our structural geometry again. Now, what I want to do is I want to add three steel columns, or what will eventually be steel columns, to that particular group. So in the window, I'm going to go ahead and select the columns I'm interested in. To select multiple elements, we're going to go ahead and hold down the control key. Then in the ribbon toolbar, go ahead and select the data tab and select the groups icon. This can be used to assign certain members, surfaces, or nodes to a particular group. So I'm going to highlight the group I'm interested in. That will be steel column number one. And then let's go ahead and click the Add button. Clicking the Add button will add whatever's currently selected to the group that I highlighted. And here in the Notes window at the bottom of the screen, I can see that three members were added to that particular group. Now let's go ahead and say I want to use those groups to make member selections. To do that, we can go to the Data tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, click on the Groups option again, we can select any group within this dialog, and then we can click on the Select option. The Select option will go ahead and select whatever is currently assigned in that group. Now again, nodes, members, and surfaces can all be assigned to the same group. Now if we ever wanted to remove items from a particular group, we also have this Remove button available. Now another tool that we also have available in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler is the ability to add a member description. And it works very similarly to uh, the group option. To do that, we're going to do that directly through the spreadsheet. So here we're going to select the Spreadsheet tab in the ribbon toolbar. And then we're going to go ahead and click on the Members icon. Now here in this column, we're going to go ahead and see descriptions have already been assigned to several of the different member types within this particular model. And we can see here three are missing their descriptions. I'm going to go ahead and assign those at this point. So let's go ahead and I'm going to grab the first one that's not selected. So let's go ahead and enter that here. And I can enter the description. So I'm going to go ahead and say steel column one. Click enter. Now I can go ahead and just manually type that into each of the fields that are empty at this point, or I can also go ahead and select those members and ask the program to copy that information down for me. So let's hold down our control key and let's select our three column members as we did in the previous exercise. Then I'm going to place my cursor in the column that has the proper description. And then I'm going to go to the Data tab in the Ribbon Toolbar. On the Data tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, we have several different spreadsheet tools that can help you manipulate the data directly in the spreadsheet. I'm going to use this tool. This will fill selection. So wherever my cursor is located, it will copy that information down for each of the currently selected fields. So let's go ahead and say Fill Selection. My cursor was here. It copied that down to every currently selected member. 
Now the way this would work is you're going to go ahead and select any member within your model. And if you want to select the other members that are assigned the same description, we can do that by selecting the data tab in the ribbon toolbar and then the select by description. This will go ahead and select every member that has the same description as a current selection. This actually works with multiple members at a time as well. So say I want to select ones that have this description and maybe this one as well. You can see here one steel girder one, one steel girder two. You can go ahead and say select by description and then anything with the same description as anything that's currently selected will then also be selected. Now the last thing we can do with the description is we can also color code our model by description to give you a clearer idea about where descriptions are in your workflow. To do that, we can go to the View tab in the ribbon toolbar, and we can ask the program to color by description. Okay, Now that works by selecting your model, and then I can see that everything has been colored by their appropriate description, so I can see which members are currently assigned the same thing. Now if we want to reset our visualization options at any point, we can go up to our Quick Access toolbar, reset our visualization options. What that does is it clears anything that's currently selected on the View tab. Now we will be using both descriptions and groups for the rest of the videos in this series to make our selection process easier. And again, I typically use those two different types of functions if I am assigning maybe common properties or specifications to groups of members, it makes the selection a little easier for me. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.